So this is the second module of residential status computation where I'll be explaining the problems related to residential status. So the second problem, first problem I have already explained in module 1. The second problem is Dr. A, an Indian national working in USA, visits India every year to visit his parents. What would be his residential status in the following conditions? This question has two subsections. So first sub question, sub question is section A. That is, he came to India on 19th December 2019 and stayed up to 5th February 2020. His total stay during the preceding 7 years was 300 days. So this is the question. So we are going to do this. So first one is, I told you, first thing you have to remember, assessment year and previous year you have to write. Till this is registered in your brain. Once you will get experienced, you automatically it will be registered. So assessment year is April 21st, 20, 2020 April 1st to 2021 March 31st. Previous year is 2019 April 1st to 2020 March 31st. Now the number of days he stayed in the relevant previous year. So you have to remember that he is coming. See the question is, see here. Came to India on 19th December 2019. That is your previous year. And stayed up to 5th February. So December 19th to 5th February is the number of days we have to calculate. So December you have to remember that this is in between the month. So you have to use the fingers. December 19, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So 13 days. Remember that December 19th also we have included. January you don't have to count because it's a full month you can take 31. Now it's February only 5 days. So take the total it is 49 days. So this is similar to the first problem what we worked on. Number of days stayed in India is only 49 days in the relevant previous year. So he is not satisfying the first basic condition of 182 days. Second basic condition, the first component also he has not completed. That is 60 days. So this is less than 49 days. So in this case, he has not come fulfilled both the basic conditions. So he will be a non-resident. So this is the first part of the computation. Second part is, he came to India on 20th September 2019 and stayed up to 31st March 2020. Now, Another point is his total stay in India during the preceding 7 years was 500 days. See the last question, whatever they gave the information was related for the previous computation, previous question computation. This computation is different. So he left India on 31-3-2012. Compute his residential status. So this is the question. Now, as usual, you are writing your assessment year and previous year. Now, number of days stayed in the relevant previous year. So how you will calculate this? You have to see the number of days, how many days he was in India. He came to India on 20th September. 20th September 2019 to March 31st is his number of days stayed in the previous year. So September you have to take 19. 19 included. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 11 days. 11 days. Plus October you can take the full 31 days. Then November 30 days, full month. December 31 days, January 31 days, February 29 days. This is another important thing. It's a leap year. 2020 is a leap year. So you have to remember 29 days you have to take. Other cases it will be 28. See 2021 if you are taking February is only 28 days. Now March 31st, March is 31 days. So total you are getting 195 days. Now you have to see that what is the basic condition. See first basic condition is he should be in India for at least 182 days or more. His number of days stayed in India is 195. So this he has fulfilled the first basic condition. Now he has to satisfy. Now we have to check whether he is fulfilling. Because if he is fulfilling first basic condition either he can be a resident and ordinarily resident. And second is he can be a resident and not ordinarily resident. So first one is. He has fulfilled the second basic condition also, one part. Because 60 days or more, he was definitely here. And stayed in India or more for more than 365 days in the immediately preceding previous years. So here, 
it is given that he stayed in india see he stayed in india for 7 years is 500 days so this you have to remember that the second basic condition also he has fulfilled that meaning he can be a resident or not ordinary resident now how we will decide between these two categories we have to check the additional conditions so what are the additional conditions he has to be a resident in india in 2 out of 10 immediately preceding previous years i am repeating this he has to be a resident in india he has satisfied this condition as he left india on 31 3 if you take 10 previous years that will come up to 2009 2010 also so 2009 10 he was a resident 11 12 also he was a resident so he was a resident he was lived in india throughout these two years so he was a resident so he has satisfied one additional condition also now second additional condition is that he has not he satisfied the stay in india was only 500 days it's only 500 days and not 730 days second additional condition he has to stay in india for 730 days or more for the last seven immediately preceding previous years but you don't have to count the number of days this is to save time question directly is mentioned that he was there in india for 500 days or more in the seven immediately preceding previous years so i to remember he has satisfied only he has satisfied both the basic conditions and only one additional condition so you have to remember that he he is a resident but not ordinarily resident the second category because if it's first category meaning one basic plus both the additional here he has satisfied one basic and one additional if he is not satisfying any of the additional conditions also he will come in this category only resident and not ordinarily resident here also one thing i want to mention that students when they will write the residential status you have to write it clearly whether he is a resident and ordinarily resident that is the first category second category is resident and not ordinarily resident always i will when i'll take class face to face class i will make the students write this resident and ordinarily resident or resident and not ordinarily resident and underline that that's very very important these two are different classifications now one problem i am asking you to do it yourself because now i'll show you the answer also here you have to remember that see now you got an idea when you are doing the problem now two three problems you have worked out so you have an idea how you calculate the residential status when i took this online class my students were able to do this so you also check that whether you are able to do it or not so mr a an engineer went to uk on 15th march 2019 for a job training so this is very important job training when he is going out of the country for employment exceptional conditions will be different 60 days instead of 60 days we will be counting 182 days he returned to india on 28th march 2020 he was never left india before what is his residential status for the relevant assessment year i request you to do it yourself if you are not getting the answer you see the solution on the next slide that is relevant assessment year is you are writing as usual april 1st 2020 to march 31st 2021 relevant previous year you are writing april 1st 2019 to march 31st 2020 now number of days stayed in the relevant previous year is only 4 days you can see that he has come to india on 28 march 28 29 30 31 use your fingers to count this break in between the month never count it directly so here he has stayed in india only for 4 days so whether he will satisfy the first basic condition of 182 days no second basic conditions condition of 60 days and 365 days for 4 years no therefore his residential status is he is a non resident for the current assessment year so this is the second module of residential status now i am going to explain one more module that will be completely for problems so when you complete this you will get the idea how to do the residential status computation that is very very important from the point of view of examination